This story is called Does a Tiger Open Wide? It's written by Fred Ehrlich and the pictures are by Emily Bolum. We chose this story because after Halloween we are talking a little bit about how to keep our teeth clean because all of that candy sometimes gets stuck in our teeth and we don't want to have cavities. Does a tiger open wide? Does a tiger open wide? Oh no, a tiger won't sit in a dentist chair. Does a giraffe go to the dentist? No way, a giraffe won't wear a dentist bib or cooperate for a checkup. Does a baboon go to the dentist? Surely not. A baboon would not allow the dentist to put instruments in his mouth. Does a crocodile go to the dentist? Never. A crocodile would never permit the dentist to take pictures of his teeth. Does a wolf go to the dentist to get his teeth cleaned? No, no. A wolf would not allow a cleaning of his teeth. A wolf's teeth get cleaned by chewing and gnawing. Do puppies get fluoride treatments to keep their teeth strong and healthy? No, puppies don't get their teeth painted with fluoride to prevent cavities. Animals don't usually get cavities, but people do. A person needs to go to the dentist for a checkup at least once a year. And if the dentist finds a cavity, the hole needs to be drilled and filled. Mummies go to the dentist, daddies go, big kids go, little kids go. Emily is not afraid of the dentist. She knows what's going to happen at the dentist's office. She knows she'll get a surprise when she's done. The dentist is saying, good job, Emily. Which toothbrush would you like? Dr. Dan says people should take care of their teeth with regular checkups. Steps in a checkup. One, dentist examines teeth with explorer and mirrors. Two, dentist x-rays teeth. Three, dentist cleans and polishes teeth. Four, dentist gives fluoride treatment. Five, dentist explains how to take care of your teeth. And this is what we have to do in the morning and at night and sometimes even in between to keep our teeth healthy and white. <laughs>